Okay, folks, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at calculating properties of 2D shapes. Specifically, I'm going to look at getting the area and perimeter of a square or a rectangle, um, a triangle, and a circle. Okay, so starting off with our basic shape, a rectangle. Okay, it's fairly straightforward. So if I have a rectangle, as I am drawing here, okay, not quite perfect, but sure it's grand. Pick some nice easy numbers. Five centimeters by three centimeters. If I want to get the area, it's equal to the length multiplied by the width. On this example here, it's 5 by 3, which is 15 centimeters squared. So, in units of area, the unit is always squared. Because you're multiplying two dimensions, a length by a width. So, that's where the centimeter squared is coming, okay? Perimeter is um, length plus width times 2. Or basically add the four sides. So it's going to be 5 plus 3, which is 8, plus another 5 plus another 3. So 16 centimeters. Okay? That's basically it. As I say, nice and straightforward. Okay? Our next uh, shape that we're going to look at is our um, triangle. Okay? So if I want to get the area of a triangle. If I have a triangle, I'm going to say it has a base width of 5 centimeters, and I'd say it has a perpendicular height. Oh, so this is the height perpendicular from the top point of my triangle to the base of the triangle, okay? That was 4 centimeters, okay? So area is equal to half the base. Pen is not working by the perpendicular height. Okay, so that's going to be a half five by four. Well, five by four is 20, so a half of 20 is 10 centimeters squared. Now, it's always the height perpendicular to the base. So, let's say I have a triangle that looks like this. Okay. Alright, so let's say this has a base of 6 centimeters. The perpendicular height is actually coming outside the triangle, like so. Alright, so this is the perpendicular height. It's actually outside the triangle. So let's say, oh, yet again, I'm making up my numbers here. So this would be a half of the base, 6, by the height, 4. So that's going to be the half of... 24 which is 12 centimeters squared okay all right so uh now let's say i had turned this triangle around up i could have also got the area of this triangle like so so let's say if that was 10 um okay actually i should think before i make up a number um let me think if that will if i had an area of that it's going to be four We'll say eight. Okay, so let's say this was uh, eight centimeters by three centimeters. Okay, this is also a perpendicular height, and we've got a new base. So it would have been a half eight by three, which is a half of twenty-four, which is twelve centimeters squared. All right. Uh, so that's how you get the area. To get the perimeter of a triangle, you just add it to the four sides. So let's just say that was three and that was three. The perimeter of this triangle 
would be 5 plus 3 plus 3, which is 11 centimeters square. And that's it. Okay? Now, our third 2D shape is going to be our circle. So, let me just draw a circle very quickly. Okay, and we're going to imagine that's a perfectly drawn circle, folks, okay? Alright, so the area of a circle is pi or squared. Now, or is your radius. Pi is a number in maths, specific value in maths. It is the ratio of the circumference of a circle, which is the perimeter of it, divided by um, the radius, okay? I think, but it's it's the same. It it is a constant number. Okay, it's an irrational number, meaning it has an infinite number of decimal places. But we usually approximate th pi to three point one four. In an exam, you will either be told what pi is for the question, usually three point one four, sometimes twenty two over seven. Okay, but it's or if they haven't given it to you, then you use the pi button in your calculator. So we would go shift and we hit the button down the bottom here and then we get oh and then we get our pi okay so if you're not given pi in a question you use the pi button if you are given pi usually it'd be 3.14 occasionally 22 over 7 you use this okay and then you got your circumference okay which is the name for the perimeter of a circle okay that's what a circumference is and the formula for that is two pi over now all of these formulas by the way are going to be in your tables book so in an exam you'll have the tape the tables book in front of you so you'd be able to calculate so let's say we give this circle a radius of four centimeters to get the area and let's say we say the pi is 3.14 in this example so 3.14 by 4 squared so that's 3.14 by 16 which is fifty point two four centimeters squared. And then if we want the circumference, it's two by three point one four by four. Okay. Which would be twenty five point one two centimeters. So there you go folks, that's how you get the areas and perimeters of these three two-dimensional shapes rectangle length area is length by the width the perimeter add the three sides triangle half the base by the height perpendicular to the top okay whether the if it's a triangle like this then it's going to be straight like that if it's a triangle like this the perpendicular height outside okay to get the perimeter yet again add the three lines and then for a circle we have two formula Pi or squared for the area. Now, or is the radius, which would be usually given in your question, and pi is a constant specific number in maths. You're usually given the approximation 3.14 or less commonly 22 over 7. And if that's what you're given in a question, that's what you use. Otherwise, you use the pi button on your calculator, and then they get the circumference, which is the length of the perimeter of a circle. It's 2 pi. So there you go, folks. I hope that makes things clear for you. If you have any questions, Ask me in class, send me an email, otherwise keep up the good work and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.